Hi, my name is Skip Axland. Uh, I'm fort fortunate enough to win uh, a few Grand National dirt track races, uh, two Grand National road races, and a Formula 750 race at Laguna Seca in 1977. And uh, I will wear the Arai Corsair RX. I was one of the very few riders that was able to compete on the road race series and the dirt track series and be competitive and actually win at both events. So we kind of went to Arai in 78 and really liked their product and wanted them to be part of our team. And uh, I was actually one of the first riders to be sponsored by Arai in 1978. Yeah, just the snug fit that it had without being too tight and not moving around at high speeds on a road racer at 180 miles an hour, let's say at Daytona. A lot of helmets would lift off your head and, and choke you with the strap, and I had never had any of that with their ride. Some of the other helmets they did, we would, we would put masking tape or duct tape all the way around the shield to keep dirt from coming in and getting in your eyes on the dirt tracks. And uh, the rides had a really, really good seal around the, the eye opening. Uh, we never had to use any kind of tapes or anything like that. It was to snap the shield down and go. Well, when I was at the factory, it was in 1978. So I was surprised of how big of a company it was and how worldwide market it was and how small the factory was at the time. I think just the general fit of it and the weight of it, it's a very, very light helmet. And the protection. Uh, throughout my career, I, I, hit, I hit my head a few times, more than a few times. And uh, I never came out concussed for the Arai with I did with some other helmets. Um, and I had quite a few concussions in my career, but after wearing the Arai, never had one concussion at all.